Firenze's Light, a story by Jessica Cogliaco, illustrated by Angela Lee. Firenze likes dancing. Firenze likes books. But there is one thing Firenze does not like. Firenze does not like her light. It's always shining at the wrong time. At the movies. At slumber parties. During games of hide and seek. Your light makes you unique, said her mother. No one shines just like you. The next day, Ferenc's friends needed her help. At the movies, Tick dropped his snack under his seat. Ferenc, can you shine your light down here? What light? I don't have a light, he snapped Ferenc. At the slumber party, Natalie whispered, Ferenc, make your light shine. I'm scared of the dark. But Ferenze let out a loud snore and pretended to be asleep. During a game of hide-and-seek, Ferenze hid in her best spot, deep in the dark bushes. Come out, Ferenze, shouted Legs. It's too hard to find you when your light doesn't shine. But Firenze pretended not to hear and flew away as fast as she could. Firenze found herself deep in the forest, far away from her friends. She had hoped they would forget about her light. She felt very sad. Just as she began to cry, she heard a strange sound coming from the bushes behind her. Ferenze flew closer to investigate. I love it! What are you doing? asked Ferenze. Creating my masterpiece! exclaimed a beetle, clicking his huge pincers. I'm Kiri. I am using my magnificent pincers to make wonderful art. Isn't it amazing? It's lovely, said Ferenze. As she looked at Kiri's art, Ferenze's light began to shine through the patterns in the leaves. Oh, how beautiful, Ferenze gasped, enchanted by the colors and shapes that appeared all around her. Wow, whispered Kiri. Your light is making my art even more magical. What a wonderful gift you have. Oh no, said Ferenze. I don't like my light. I wish it would go away. She began grabbing leaves to wrap around herself. I understand, said Curie. I used to feel the same way about my pincers, but then I realized I am brilliant. I am wonderful. I am unique. I wish I could feel like that about my light, Curie, but I don't, Ferenza exclaimed, and she flew home. A few days later, Ferenze received a package. Dear Ferenze, I made this skirt just for you. I hope you will wear it to my art show tomorrow. Your light is a gift. Let it shine. Love, Curie.
Firenze felt nervous as she arrived at the art show the next day. But as her light glimmered through her skirt, she saw the faces of her friends. How lovely! Brilliant! See what happens when you let your light shine? While Firenze twirled on the stage, she realized how powerful her light was. It was creating magical art, joy for her friends, and happiness in her heart. Suddenly, Firenze felt very grateful she was a firefly. Firenze grew to love her light, even when it was difficult. She always remembered the night she let her light shine for everyone to see.